Welcome. You have reached review time with Imperial, and today's review would be Hijack, a Apple TV Plus miniseries starring Idris Elba. Subscribe to the channel, like to the video, like the video. Let's get into it. So let's go over the cast, but it's a, it's a lot of cast, so it's really you might not it might not even be worth to go over the cast. Just know that Idris Elba is the main character in here. So. I'm kind of late to the party, but not at the same time. So, currently, at the time of this video, there are five episodes in. It's two episodes left. It's only a seven-episode um, series. It's definitely going to be a part two. I mean, a season two. So, um, let's get into it. So, this series, um, basically, it's about... Uh, Sam Nelson, who's the main character. Basically, um, he's a talented negotiator. And he's on his way home. He has an ex-wife and a son. This, his ex-wife has moved on, but he's still in love with her. He's on his uh, way from Dubai to London. And in the process of him being on his way home, there are five people that go and hijack this plane now there's a bunch of twists and turns on this whole plot twist and everything how did they get the um, guns on the plane or whatever so of course if I'm doing if I'm cramming five episodes into one video it's not going to do any justice it is worth for you I'll tell you that right now it's worth for you to just if you got Apple Plus TV I mean Apple TV Plus to go watch the series and then you get card up and then from here I do episode episode from here so it's you know it's more understanding me so in a nutshell I'm just giving you a summary on what took place so they had some people the people that at the um, TSA who watches your uh, stuff go through the scan Neela who worked for there somebody gave her a call her family was in danger so that took her off attention of seeing the stuff pass through then from there uh, there was a main air traffic con controller who he thought something was off he went to go see Nila and when he did he ended up there's a cleanup crew meaning cleanup crew as in cleanup murders and stuff like that was there at Neela's house where they killed her family and then he went in to check on her they killed him as well so you have Sam who's on the plane who's giving trying to send messages to the ground air traffic control and alert them that this plane is being hijacked okay so you have that going on you have the ex-wife who's the man that who she's messing with He's part of, uh, I don't know if he's a detective, FBI. He's part of something over in Interpol. Uh, I, not FBI, because that's, that's America, but uh, Interpol, whatever, he's connected. So they're connected to the London government. So this is a whole bunch of chain of events connecting dots and it's getting connected. Stuff goes haywire on the plane. The main uh, captain of the plane... He was locked in. They had orders to never let anybody into the cabinet because they could take over. However, he was messing with one of the stewardess and they had the gun pointed on her. So he ended up, his co-pilot ended up clocking his co-pilot in the head a couple times to release and open the door. So now the co-pilot, she is never going to look at him the same now because he, he was willing to kill her to let the story this in so a bunch of events is happening at first you had different passengers like we could take them over like you know they start talking about the 9 11 stuff and you know we, we can't let them just ram this plane and you know kill kill people we got to take it over so they like hold on so one of the times the gun dropped so one of the passengers on the plane she found a bullet in the uh, bathroom she came and told what was supposed to be her coach he pretty much told her it was nothing um, so they said why would they I don't know they don't have bullets on the plane 
So that was given speculation on if they have bullets or if they have blanks. So there was a pasture that pretty much drew a diagram on what a real bullet looked like versus what the blank looked like. The girls confirmed that it was a blank. Now, so all the five hot um, a terrorist group had blanks. However, they did have a compartment where they had real bullets in case they needed to make an example. So at first, everybody figured that they had blanks and then the main guy who was um, part of the hostages, he ended up pitting the real bullets in and when he picked the real bullets in, he ended up killing one of the passengers. So then that put everything back in order. So from there, you find out two of the um, main guys, uh, two of the terrorists, they're brothers. You also find out that there is an elite group that's organizing all this. So the people on the, that's doing the terrorist act, they're just puppets. There's an elite group that's running everything behind the shadows. So a lot of stuff now by episode two or three, Interpol and Dubai, they know, I say Interpol, London and Dubai, they know that this plane has been hijacked. So everybody knows just a matter of who the people are that's involved. So Sam is getting messages sent out because one of the men that was doing the um took over to hijack the plane he got injured and then he was dying bleeding out and while he was bleeding out sam act like he was gonna call his mom and really he was sending them a um, voicemail message to his ex-wife and giving them the phone number so that she give to hoping hopefully that she takes all the information that was given to her she forwarded and then they get to do their thing on the back and find out who these people are. Nevertheless, they found out, Interpol found out who uh, the brothers were. The mom was connected. The mom ended up escaping. She went in on the highway and killed herself or whatever because her husband was killed. So she was basically telling them that these people are connected. They see everything. You never know who they are. So this is bigger than what y'all think this is. So it was, it became very interesting up in the episode five, but you've really, it's episode five. You got two episodes left and you don't really have a lot of answers. So you really don't know who the elite group, the elite group have made contact with their demands so far up to episode five. And there was a moment where they were going to land in I think Budapest or something like that. But then they knew if they landed, the group said, the elite group, they kill our family. So we got to keep going. So they end up keep going. And uh, his name is Stuart. He um, lost his brother. His brother pretty much passed away on the on plane. So it's four uh, terrorists left as of episode uh, five. And... You really don't know how it's going to end because it's only two episodes left and you like, wow, well, it's good character development, but you don't, it's so much more that needs to go on. So be interesting to see how episode six, episode seven turned out. It's definitely going to be a season two. Subscribe to the channel, like the video. If you got Apple TV plus tune in, something to watch if you into that type of uh, series. Till next time.